It is 8.58 and I'm already dripping with sweat. It's gonna be a good day. Slightly bit. So our hostel is like a 20 minute walk outside of town, which we thought would be no problem, but it ended up being like straight uphill for the whole 20 minutes. So that was fun, but we've made it. And now we're trying to figure out where to go. Come to find out, when you select the dates for your reservation on Google, it just defaulted to April, and we're here in January. And we just lost the deposit on it. So now we're trying to figure out where we're gonna stay for the night. I'm wondering if you have any availability for tonight. Hello? I think our call was just dropped. I was wondering no, if... No, senora, no hablo inglés. So we just wanted to fill you guys in on what went down yesterday. I think emotions were a little high and we didn't end up vlogging a whole lot. Basically, I made the biggest mistake yet. But we thought it was gonna be more stressful going from Monteverde to Playa del Coco because there were four bus transfers and it was five hours, but it was actually quite a bit more stressful coming from Playa del Coco to Capos. We didn't know where the bus stations were. We had to get on three different buses and we weren't sure which one was which. And it ended up being an all day affair. We left at 8.30 and didn't get in until six. It was long. None of the buses had AC. They were all very hot, very cramped smelly, tight buses. We get to Capos, we're finally there. We start the 20 minute walk out of Capos up to our hostel, which you cannot tell on the GPS is an extremely steep walk up like a mile long hill. We had already been sweating all day, covered in this like thick layer of salt on our skin. And then we have to carry all our bags up this huge hill to get to the hostel. Which from the reviews looked great. It was this jungly, rainforest type treehouse hostel. It looked awesome and it was cheap. So we were excited Free about breakfast. that. breakfast. So we get there and there is a guy trying to check in in front of us and they tell him like, oh, there's no availability and he's all bummed out. And he looks at us and he's like, did you guys pre-book? Because they're totally full. And I was like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we're we, good. We pre-booked, we're good. And so then I go up to the counter and I'm like, Ruth Finney for three nights? And she's like, I don't have that in my system. And I'm like, oh, here's my reservation number. I hand her the email. And she's like, this is for April. This is for April. And I just like deflated in that moment. My first thought was, oh, there's a, there's a mistake on their end. I start getting defensive and I'm like, no, no, no. There, there's obviously a problem here, but no. Nope, I just booked the wrong dates. We sat down at the table to try to figure out what to do next. I was just kind of overwhelmed with emotion. I'm pregnant, it was a really long day, and then I made this mistake, and so I got kind of emotional. A few tears were shed, but we had to figure out somewhere to stay that night, so we started Googling around, and us and this other guy who didn't get a room either found that there was a small, locally run hostel in the next town over that had a couple beds and mixed dorms. So we took the taxi, it was only a few kilometers up the road from where we already were, so that was close enough. And we get to our hostel and no one there really speaks English, which is fine, we've run into that before. But we can't really understand what they're telling us. They walk us to one room and there are a few beds that look like they're open, but they're kind of 
acting like we can show you another room if this is insufficient. The room she showed us only had upper bunks, so I was like, you know, if, if there's a room with lower bunks, sure, we'll look at another room. Maybe it'll be nicer than the first one. The next room smelled so strongly of B.O that I thought I was gonna get nauseous. The first room at least had some ventilation, like the walls were made of screens, so that led right to the outdoors. So there was like at least some airflow. This one we were in did not have that, so it was very hot, but it did have two bunks open, one on top of the other. So at least we'd get one bottom bunk. Right, and it had four fans in it, so that was nice. The fans ran all night, even though it was still very hot and I was sweaty all night long so we said sure we'll take this room pardon the interruption while we were editing this we realized that we didn't even include some of the worst parts <laughs> like when we got there the bed sheets were dirty and stained the bathrooms were absolutely disgusting there was even like brown sludge coming out of the shower head so to give you guys a fuller picture of what it was really like we wanted to include some of the best reviews on the internet we found for your reading pleasure <laughs> I was just so emotional from the whole day that I was having a hard time like just being okay with things so I told Thomas I needed to get some air and I went outside and sat on a bench for a while you apologized to our little baby oh I did yeah sitting on that bench I was like I'm so sorry that we have to sleep here I'm sorry that I made this mistake I just felt like a bad mother <laughs> and, and then I realized that she probably doesn't care and it's probably more about my discomfort than hers at this point. I will say, perk of the night was that they do have a pool at this hostel, which was really nice to just go sit in, cool down for a little bit, yep. breathe, get the fresh air that we wanted. I did cry in the pool too. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I'm blaming it on the hormones. That's what we're gonna say it was. Oh man. Anyway, after the pool, I kind of calmed down. I was feeling a lot better. We slept fine. We got over the smell. The heat was whatever. On top of that, we had heard from the people living in our room that just the day prior, there was a break-in and someone had rummaged through all of their stuff and stolen things from as valuable as power banks to lotion and shirts and underwear. So it was just kind of frustrating that like now we have to live in this state of semi small paranoia that someone's going to come in and take all of our incredibly valuable stuff but Thomas was very calm and supportive as always and just trying to tell me like you know the silver linings and how this could be a positive experience after all um, just trying to keep me in the right headspace which is very nice <laughs> There actually was one huge perk to this place. <laughs> in the morning, we walked out onto the little patio balcony thing and the owners were cutting up some bananas to for everybody to feed the, the monkeys. monkeys. They have monkeys that just come every morning and hang out on their patio. And so I got to hand feed a little monkey. For free. For just free. Just part of staying there, you, which I feel like normally someone would be like $20 to feed a monkey. Gentle. <laughs> that was a very nice welcome perk. Yes. And it made it, I think, all worth it. All worth it. <laughs> yeah. Would you do it again for the monkeys? I don't know if I would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So obviously we're still in Costa Rica and it's still a very beautiful place to be. I think we just want to be honest with you about the real Realities. moments <laughs> and what happens when you make these kinds of mistakes while traveling and you have to kind of think on your feet and problem solve. But at the same time, we're still in Costa Rica. We still are surrounded by natural beauty 
and we get to eat at places like this. Oh my gosh, look at this view. The last place we had like a little snippet of ocean view, but this is extravagant. This is like panoramic 180 degree ocean view. <laughs> I can't believe that we're here. This is probably the coolest restaurant we've seen yet. And we just saw a restaurant that had an airplane in it. <laughs> We're being spoiled with just incredible spots and places. <sighs> anyway, we're obviously very healthy and happy and our baby's still good, so we're good. What a way to end a crazy stressful 24 hours. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, whenever it comes out. <laughs> Bye. Nice.